Marie Joseph Puyo was born on March 20, 1841, the third among six children, in a small village in French speaking Belgium, Malay, where almost everyone was a devout practicing Catholic, including his parents. He was a gentle and obedient boy and was known for being pious. He was firm in wanting to serve the Lord after realizing that he was not physically and emotionally suited to becoming a blacksmith like his father. He traveled to Namur, where he was given his religious name, Mutian Marie, and taught elementary classes for two years. He was then transferred to Malone, where he taught for 58 years before his death. It was difficult at first, and he was considered to be expelled, but was helped by a fellow brother. Through his life, he was blessed with good health until November 1916, when he fell ill and was unable to attend to his duties. Although even with difficulty, he still tried to pray rather than resting in the infirmary. He died on January 30, 1917. His fame began to spread soon after, and many miracles were attributed to him. When Brother Mutian was assigned to the boarding school in Malone, he found some difficulties adjusting to the demands of both teaching and prefecting. But then, the brother superior at the school assigned him in charge of the courses in music and art, which, at the time, were an important part of the curriculum. From that time on, Brother Mutian was not only an effective teacher of those subjects, but he was also a vigilant prefect in the schoolyard and a catechist at a nearby parish. During the late 1800s and early 1900s, several social issues regarding different reforms for education arose. These reforms relate to the inclusion of teaching religion in schools or secularizing it. However, St. Mutin Marie was able to continue teaching when all of this was happening in Belgium. Another is the social reality of illiteracy during that time which St. Mutian Marie was able to help with by teaching the students how to read and write and that despite his difficulties, he was able to be successful with his lessons through the involvement of his virtues of patience and piety. St. Mutian's virtues can be related to the three Lasallian values, namely the spirit of faith, zeal for service, and communion in mission. These values are a Lasallian identity in which a Lasallian shows affirmation in God, sharing their talents, and sharing it to the Lasallian community. His strong faith in the Catholic Church led him to believe that the Lord was calling him to a different kind of forge. After studying in the Lasalle school, he was determined to follow his faith into being a Lasallian brother and went to Namur to enter their novitiate. Then he became Brother Mutian and served the Lasallian community. He dedicated his service to the students when he was assigned to Malone for 58 years where he taught and was a prefect. He was a great influence on his students with his patience and piety. He was praised by his brothers for being the most faithful even in the smallest of details of their rule as he was a devoted Catholic, an excellent teacher, and a true Lasallian brother. St. Mutian Marie Wio's legacy focuses on his trait of being a virtuous person throughout his life. He had never been seen violating even the smallest points in their rule. It also followed that after his death, he became remembered and well-known to the people, especially to those who lived in Belgium, thus many miracles were attributed to him. Finally, to bring honor to St. Mutian Marie, a shrine was built for him which contains a relic that may be used by the people to pay their respects to him. Overall, St. Mutian Marie Wio was a man who lived life through the Lord's calling, having entered the novitiate as soon as he could. He became a teacher and inspired others for many years through the words of the Lord. Through these events in his life, as well as his virtues and ways of teaching, he has now become someone who is well known for these great traits and someone who is always worthy of the respect of people because of this.